I absolutely promise you that there is only one thing holding you back from becoming the man that you want to be, achieving everything that you aspire to and never looking back. This isn't some secret hidden thing that you've never heard of before. It's something that you have heard of before but never truly understood the actual extent of it. The men who don't know this will only get held back from everything that they want to achieve why you will only prosper with what I'm about to tell you. The biggest thing that is holding you back is your own self-image, but let me explain the true extent of it. Because you could set out to do absolutely everything right and have 100% productive days in order to achieve what you want and become the man that you want to be. But if times were to get hard or it gets too stressful or the thought of just continuing to do these effortful things becomes so unbearable, you will resort back to the bad habits that you've been doing for the majority of your life. But why is that? Because the good and productive effortful things that you know you need to do and you, that you know improve your life do not line up with your own self-image. And those actions won't feel natural nor comfortable. Maybe they will a bit, but not to the extent where you can keep doing them when times get hard. But what will feel natural is the easy, degenerate and lazy bad habits that you've been doing for the majority of your life. So the absolutely ideal antidote to this problem is to have a self-image that 100% lines up with every single productive thing that you need to do in order to become the man that you want, have a dream life and achieve everything that you aspire to. Because if you have the self-image of a hard-working, productive man who keeps doing effortful things even when it's difficult and you repeatedly tell yourself that and even journal it every single day and even push yourself to believe that even if it's not yet true, you will feel comfortable doing the effortful and productive good habits that you know you need to do because a hard-working, productive man who does effortful things isn't the type of person to watch porn, play video games and waste time. That type of man does the hard work that he knows he needs to do. And if it happens to be that there's a point in time where you feel really depressed and sad and you give in to your urges to do the bad habits and you do them for a day, for example, you could do them for a some amount of time, but it won't feel 100% natural or comfortable to keep doing. And it is like if you were feeling really stressed at one point and you decided to smoke a cigarette. Yes, it helps some chunk of the population to smoke when they're stressed but I imagine that you do not smoke and so smoking to cope with stress isn't going to feel natural and it isn't going to help you because it doesn't line up with your self-image and this principle that I'm talking about has happened to me as well during the times where I'm having bouts of depression and everything feels not worth doing I lay in bed eat junk and watch YouTube but I can't just fully enjoy and immerse myself into doing these bad habits because I know that's not that doesn't line up with my self-image. My self-image is of a man who works hard every single day. And so when I resort back to these bad habits, sure I can do them, but I cannot do them for a week. Or for example, even after like two days of doing it, I resort back to my normal self because I know that's who I am. And doing the easy bad habits isn't me and so I come out of it without needing to overly push myself or even at all sometimes. And that is true for you as well because if you have the self-image of a really productive hard-working man who does the good things you won't be able to keep doing bad habits for very long because they won't line up with your self-image. You won't feel good doing it and so if something doesn't feel good to do you'll stop and you'll go back to doing the productive good habits which will feel good to do, which will line up with your self-image, make you feel comfortable, and only help improve your life when you keep doing the good habits. And all of that is exactly the same principle as if you were doing good habits with a bad self-image. Because someone might have fallen into the trap where they know there's good habits to do, but their self-image is still bad. If I still had the self-image of a person who wastes time, jerks off to porn, plays video games, binges on junk food, has no aspirations and wastes time in bed all day long, it's not going to feel natural to exercise, nor to read, nor to journal, nor to be mindful, nor to enjoy time by myself on a walk. The exact principle that this video was about is a psychological phenomenon called cognitive dissonance, which to put simply is basically that you cannot have two conflicting ideas, beliefs or opinions at the same time. So take for example, if I was still a degenerate who watched porn, played video games, a waste of time, 
if I watched porn every single day and enjoyed doing that, I cannot think that porn is bad because I'm not going to do something that is bad for me and I know it. So I'm going to cope and say that no, porn is okay and it can't be bad because I feel the need to do it every single day. And to explain it a bit further, basically it just means that anything that you do that misaligns from your morals, opinions or beliefs will bring feelings of negativity. And to be more specific, it will bring negative emotions such as stress, anxiety, embarrassment, regret, sadness, shame, rationalization or fear of missing out. So the main point of this video is that if you build up a self-image that is so good and stick to it, you will never again feel comfortable when relaxing or doing bad habits because they don't line up with your self-image. So once you fully commit yourself to going down this path, it will become vitally important for you to note down your character, opinions, beliefs and morals so that you always have an objective point to know whether you're deviating from those things or not. Because the character, self-image and routine that you will develop is in no way easy to maintain or will be stress-free. Because your brain will always try to take the path of least resistance, which will sometimes lead to you having ideas and thoughts of coping and doing a bad habit. Which will take the form of adopting beliefs that will play into your coping, deeming your bad actions worth it, minimizing the negatives. Convincing yourself that other bad problems will arise if you don't do this bad habit. Having confirmation bias with the things that you read and hear and hiding the actions that you have been doing. So an example of everything that I just said in order would be like me saying that, oh, it's okay to jerk off because it's important to experiment with what you like. And it's worth jerking off because it's going to be on my mind if I don't and it's better to just get it over and done with so it's out of the way. It can't be that harmful because it actually reduces stress for me and reduces my risk of prostate cancer. And, and if I don't jerk off, I will get prostate cancer. I will keep feeling stressed and be distracted because I don't get it out of me. And then seeing both sides for the information and facts, whether porn is good or bad, but only accepting the good side of it and ignoring the bad side. Then then also completely hiding that I have been jerking off. Your brain knows that jerking off gives you pleasure because it thinks that you're reproducing with another woman, which is the reason why it pulls you into watching porn in the first place. So your brain will bring in these conflicting thoughts that downplay the importance of staying true to this moral that you have of not jerking off. Because your brain wants to experience that pleasure. That is how coping works. A conflicting idea comes in to downplay your true morals so that you accept that and then do the bad habit that is so pleasurable. And that is exactly why it's so important for you to note down everything that you stand for. Because there will be times where your own brain isn't even on the same team as you. So to sum everything up, cognitive dissonance can either work against you or it could work for you. Do absolute wonders for you and help you achieve everything that you've ever wanted. So create an incredibly powerful and positive self-image that only serves you while also believing that doing any of the bad habits that makes people depressed and suicidal is not even one bit a part of you and you will never step close to them. And so if you are creating the self-image that truly resonates with your soul, it does mean that you can never go back to those bad habits. Because if my soul resonates with having freedom in life, and the way to have freedom in life is to become an incredible man and make amazing amount of money with the skills that I have, so I will have a self-image as an incredible man who always does the productive and right thing and makes a lot of money through utilizing his skills. And doing all of that will literally mean that I cannot do nothing and waste time anymore because my soul demands freedom in life and my self-image lines up with that. So me not lining up with my soul and me not proving my own self-image will cause me negative feelings of stress, anxiety, embarrassment, regret, sadness, shame, rationalization and fear of missing out. And if I ever get caught in wanting to do the bad habits, I can take a step back and realize all these emotions that I'm feeling and realize what's going on and see that the negative feelings that I'm feeling are merely a feedback to the things that I've been doing in my life and understand that what I've been doing isn't right. And then understanding that the only way to not live a miserable life and to fulfill my soul is to live true to my productive, masculine and successful self-image and is also exactly what you need to do in order to achieve everything that you've ever wanted in life. And I'd love to hear your story, so leave a comment below telling me if you've experienced any of the problems that I mentioned or if this video has helped you at all. 
Put in enough time and attention because that will make anything into reality.